everyone, let's make a fruit tart today with fresh fruits, vegan tart dough, and vegan pastry cream. Let's get to it. For your tart dough, combine the powdered sugar, salt, and butter into a bowl. Use the paddle attachment and cream it on medium-low until smooth. Add your water as necessary. Start with just one tablespoon because whether or not you need the second one depends on many things like the moisture and heat of your room, etc. Add in your flour, then mix until everything is just combined. You don't want to overmix this dough in order to keep it delicate. Check the dough about a minute in to see if you need more water. If the dough is pretty crumbly, add it. When your mixture comes together, check to see how it is. It should be nice and smooth with no lumps. Turn out the dough on a silicone mat or flour workspace. I prefer the mat because I can limit the addition of more flour to the dough and it's easier to work with. Firm your dough into a ball and flatten it out so it's easier to roll out later. Store your dough in an old bag like I am or use reusable wrap and put it in the fridge for 30 minutes. Take out your dough. You can see that mine's pretty firm. Flour your rolling pin and gently tap down on the dough to see how hard it is. If it gives in a bit, begin to work it, rolling your pin in one direction and turning it slightly at one eighth of an angle each time. Work around the dough to get it circular, if that makes sense. When your dough is about a quarter of an inch thick, get your tart tin out, minus six inches, and flip the silicone mat over the tin, hopefully getting the tin in the middle of the dough. Peel off the silicone mat. It was really hot when I made this tart, so the dough is slightly melting and breaking, which is okay. I'm just gonna patch it up. The inside doesn't have to look pretty anyway, Think Regina George when it comes to this tart, sort of. I'm cutting the dough to kind of make a patch where the empty space is. Make sure your dough goes a little above the top of the tin. Now that the dough is patched up, it's time to darken the dough. This means achieving that 90 degree angle between the edge of the tart and the bottom. It's like the light version of shoving the dough into the corners. Take your thumb and lightly press against the sides near the bottom of the tart. To get clean edges around the tart, you can use your rolling pin and clean up the sides. You can also use a knife, holding it parallel to your counter and lightly grazing the top. Now you're going to dock your dough using a fork. I recommend doing as many as you can. It's okay if it goes through, it'll bake together anyway. I do the sides as well. Then let it chill in the fridge for another 30 minutes. Take it out of the fridge and prepare your baking weights. I'm just using some old dry chickpeas that I never use somehow and putting them in an old cilantro bag that needs to retire. The bottom of the bag won't melt, so don't worry. Bake your dough at 325 degrees Fahrenheit or 160 degrees Celsius for about 10 minutes with the baking weights. Then take out the weights and bake for another 10 minutes. Then turn off the oven and bake for another five to seven minutes. This tart dough doesn't brown so much, so don't worry if you get a pale color like mine. And unmold your tart after a few minutes of chilling and let's make that pastry cream. In a bowl, measure out half of the sugar and all of the cornstarch and whisk together well. This prevents any lumps from forming in your pastry cream. Scale out the silken tofu. This is the brand I use. Non-dairy milk. The vanilla extract and the optional almond extract and a little bit of salt. Blend it up until smooth. And pour it into your pot. Pick a high pot because it might expand a bit. Add the other half of the sugar. Whisk well and transfer to heat. 
When you see the mixture begin to bubble a bit, or the whisk leaves a faint trail, then it's ready for the next step. Add the sugar and cornstarch while whisking to prevent any lumps. The pastry cream is ready when it becomes nice and thick. You will see your whisk marks clearly. Pour the pastry cream into the cooled tart shell. Hopefully you do this right away and don't let it sit out for a little bit, like I did because angles. Wiggle it down to fill the tart or smooth it out with a spatula. Next, prepare your fruits. I'm using oranges, strawberries, raspberries, and blueberries, but you can use whatever you have. I just try to use anything that's in my Imperfect Foods box or going off or whatever's in season. I encourage you to get really creative because I think this is the most fun part. Let's slow down a bit and finish the tart with a nice glaze. I'm using apricot glaze because that's a pretty traditional finish. You can heat it up a bit to loosen it and strain it so it becomes smooth. So easy and yummy. Voila! A lovely way to use up your fruits in the fridge and to impress your friends too. Thank you for watching.